So this is going to be a fairly quick video, but I'm going to take a look at a security issue with these Brother or a lot of these label printer tapes, and in this case the Brother TZE tapes. And while people who know how these tapes work will understand this and expect this, a lot of people, especially in businesses that don't think about how things work, could cut, get caught out quite badly with the security of these tapes. Because all of these tapes that use this sort of design have a real inside of everything that's been printed on the tape. So if you finish with one of these tapes and throw it out, this could contain confidential information. So I'm going to take that, this apart and show you. I'm totally not doing this because I ran out of other video ideas and needed to get something out quickly. Had one of these that I was about to throw out and thought, well, may as well film it. But yeah, we'll take a look. So with label printers, there's two different types of tapes you can get. You can get purely thermal ones, where the tape itself, the, the actual label, is effectively thermal paper, and the label printer just writes directly onto that with heat. Those are fine. The issue with these is these don't work like that. With these you have three layers. You can almost see them here. On the top you've got a clear layer. Probably put it out, there you go. You've got this clear layer. It's got stripes in it there, but that's just because it's the end, that just marks it's the end of the tape. You've got that clear layer that laminates on top. You've got the white layer, which sits at the or coloured layer, which sits at the back of the label and has the adhesive on it. That comes out here, so it's fed up and you can see it sort of bonding on under there. And then you've got this black layer in here. Now this black layer is transfer material. So when the label printer prints, it heats up this black layer and it causes the areas that are heated to detach from this and stick onto the clear clear layer or stick onto the, the label. So when you print something, it's effectively cut out of this black layer and put onto the label. So the excess of this black that's spooled up inside will in theory, and we'll see if we take it apart if it does, have everything you've printed on this machine sort of visible on it. So what we'll do is we'll take this apart and see if it's, that's the case. So we'll just try and open it. It actually looks fairly easy to open. You can see there's a bunch of tabs around the site and the label holding it shut, so it should be fairly easy to open, so I'll try and do that now. But it's kind of interesting because obviously for a lot of people these won't be printing anything secure, you know, if you're just labelling a filing cabinet or something, or just like, you know, if you're just labelling stuff with drawers, for example, with what's in them, you're probably not going to have an issue. But imagine you're in an office and you're labelling, like, files with someone's name, or you're labelling passwords on things, or IP addresses on bits of equipment, Stuff that could actually be quite sensitive if it was leaked and then these cartridges run out, you just throw them in the bin casually and you don't think about it. And then someone could quite easily find these, pop them open as I'm doing now, and read all that information. So yeah, it's definitely important to think of. So, see if we get this open. Obviously this is a dead one so I'm not worried about breaking it. I wouldn't be this harsh if it was a, a new one because these things are not cheap. Especially these proper brother ones. Right, so that's there. See if we can get more if it's open anymore. There we go. And oh there's a tab in that tab. I don't know. There it is. Oh what's cool. Uh oh, put this one out. There's one there. There we go. And if you're interested in knowing about how, mo how these work a bit more, Big Clive did a really good video on these. Okay, so we've now got it open. And I do apologise for the fact that audio at the start of this video is quite bad. I totally forgot to put an SD card in the audio recorder and didn't check it was recording. So, yeah, that was smart. So the audio was a bit bad, but it's working now. But yes, we've now got it open. So if we lift this off, You'll see inside. Quite broken, but there we go. These obviously aren't designed to be taken apart. But you can see how this almost works. Big Clive did a better video actually showing us in more detail. But we'll zoom in, we'll take a quick look. So what you've got in here is various spindles that hold the different tapes. So this one here holds the actual sticky label in the coloured background. So if you lift that out, you can see that is the white label, which is just the white label itself, which is actually quite tacky, so that'll be obviously to hold it together. That's tacky, so that can stick onto the clear layer. So that's tacky. And you see on the back you've got the blue bit, because that's the adhesive piece you pull off. So if you peel it, you know, that comes off like that. And that's the part that actually is the label itself. And that sits in this spool here, and obviously when that comes out, it goes away with your label. 
Likewise, there's a spool here. This holds the clear layer, so you can see the clear layer comes up here and across. And again, this goes out with your label. So that's that, and that's that. So that's essentially the way your labels are made up. You've got a slightly tacky white bit here. This might be yellow, this might be clear, depending on what colour of label you've gone for. Then you've got the clear layer here, which is normally clear, and then just the end of it has this stripe on it to indicate the end of the reel. And that comes on the two spindles there. And anything from these two spindles goes away with you. So everything that was on these will now be stuck to the things I've got. That's the actual labels themselves. The bit of, that's more of a little spindle layers off the spindle. The bit that's more of concern here is these spindles here. So what you can see is there's two. There's this green one here and this black one here. And this black one here almost is like pretty much empty. It's got some stuff on it. But this is where the, the unused transfer ribbon is. So at the start when this is a new cartridge, this is totally full and this green one would be empty. And what happens is as the machine runs, it pulls this black ribbon through like that. Turn that, this one spins and that is pulling the unused transfer ribbon through across the head that transfers on in here. And then once it's been transferred and it's used, it comes back and onto this green one. So in the theory, if we take this green spool out, this is where we'll have the issue. So you see there, there's the, all the unused stuff here. And now in theory, if we start to unravel this, we'll start to see information. I can straight away see it. Now I might, I'll be very careful doing this and I might end up having to blur, I'll do it against white table so you can see. I might have to blur out bits of this video because there could be information on this. I don't actually know what I've printed on this label. I've stopped using this one a long time ago. But let's see. Networking, there you go. Yep, let's see there's definitely some stuff. There you go. Turn this other way up. This looks like the last thing I used this for was actually labeling some boxes. There you go. Yep, this is actually when I obviously last used this when I was like labeling up boxes and storage in my flat. So you can see all that's fairly boring stuff. Oh, there you go. That would be me labeling my home cinema wiring because that's like surround left, surround left, surround left, surround right. So that's me labeling speakers. Pull more out labeling network ports and there you go so there's one thing so I'll have to blur that one out but there's my phone number well it's the number of my landline I don't actually use it but if I have to blur that out because yeah casually in this cartridge there's my phone number various more boring labels labels for other things and there you go there's now there's a email address and label for something that I've been doing and there you go lots of random things that have been printed on this. There you go, there's a host name and an IP address. And this is the issue with these things. You can just see the amount of stuff that's been printed on this that could be confidential. There's IP addresses, phone numbers, web addresses, names of organisations. And this is just a cartridge that I'd stopped using ages ago and just was about to throw out. So yeah, this is definitely quite important. To bear in mind. So there you go, that was a very quick video showing the dangers of these label printer cartridges and how easy it would be to throw one of these out for someone to get it and go through and find quite a lot of confidential information. And even on this one here that I never thought I'd really used for much, most of it was just labels for boxes and random things around the flat, but there was definitely names of organisations, email addresses, phone numbers and IP addresses in here for some confidential things that were just that I'd happen to use this label printer for. So it's definitely worth bearing in mind the, with these things that you need to be careful disposing of them and not just chuck them in a waste paper basket. I did some digging online and there's not much I can find on how you're meant to support, like securely destroy these. I don't know if you could put it through a shredder, it probably wouldn't go that well. Um, I don't really go burning it, you know, that's a bit of a mess. I tried putting alcohol on it to see if that would dissolve the black, it didn't. You know, I genuinely don't know how you're meant to destroy these. All I can think is either just sit with a pair of scissors and just try and cut it up as best you can, or if you're a business, potentially if you've got a shredding service that takes away things like hard drives and storage devices, they might be able to deal with these. But it's definitely worth bearing in mind that these do contain information like this, so you've got to be careful about throwing them out. 
But yeah, very quick video there with half the audio missing. I do apologise for that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully there'll be some more interesting stuff coming up soon because this was a very quickly thrown together video. Thanks for watching.